today's video might be a longer one, but it is jam-packed with sheep. I'm going to show you how I prepare my female sheep for sale. I explain why we wear these little leather moccasins for shearing. A few reasons, actually, which show you how incredible and how simple an invention these are. And then I take you to Air Market and show you the sheep being sold. So, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell, you'll get a notification of any future videos, and then just sit back and enjoy. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, as you may notice. I've already been doing a bit of activity this morning, a little bit of sweat on. What are we doing today? Well, we have just brought in some of our mule gimmers and shed out a selection of them that we might sell. Now, there is roughly 33, I think, that have been shed out here as potentials for being sold. What we want to look for really is 20 to 25 of a nice even batch, similar looking sheep. That will make a good pen to go to air market in two days time. So I really just want to show you the process here of drawing out these sheep and then what's called dressing them for sale that I'm just about to show you. They're then going to be dipped and coloured. That will happen tomorrow and we'll show you the end result. You can let me know what you think of them. Of course, We'll then show you them going to the sale ring. Now we have 200 odd gimmers this year and we plan to sell 20, 25, maybe another handful at home privately. So let's run them up the shearing trailer and start dressing. Leather moccasins. Now I tell you, I don't think I've actually explained this season why we wear these on our feet when we're shearing. A few reasons actually, which show you how incredible and how simple an invention these are. The first one being, they're very thin soled, so you're closer to the board. So that means to get to the bottom blow of the sheep or to reach the very, round the sheep, you don't have as far to go, as opposed to if I was standing, in fact, here's a prime example. I'm standing with my boot and my moccasin on just now. This one's closer to the ground. So for me to touch the ground there, I don't need to reach as far, but for here, I need to reach further. So. Oh, I can feel it more in that right hamstring there. Reason number two is when you're shearing the sheep, footwork, well, footwork's just about everything, to be perfectly honest with you, when you're shearing. So we're constantly moving our feet, just small amounts as you go around the sheep, but it also includes rolling your feet onto the side. Now, if you're wearing shoes like this, for example, when you roll onto the side, so all the grip's on the flat of that boot, but when you roll that boot onto its side, all of a sudden you're only gripping with this very thin edge, so that becomes very slippy and you have poor grip. Not to mention the fact that you're now that far away from your foot, which adds extra reach and extra distance from the board. When I roll my moccasin, I'll have this whole round part here making contact with the board, which gives me far better grip when I'm shearing the sheep. Added to that, when I roll on that movement, not only does the moccasin give me good grip, but it allows my ankle to be free and there's less pressure on my ankle there as opposed to in a boot where this would be digging in to your leg. Another good reason is the fact this molds to the shape of your foot. So I have size 12 feet, so the boots are fairly big and clumsy. My feet are a bit of a, a handicap when it comes to shearing because it's awkward stepping up the neck with such big feet at times. Whereas with a moccasin, I'll wear a size 11 moccasin and I'll yank them up tight and they mould round the shape of your foot. If I move that there, you would see it better. And you'll see how if I compare that to my boot at the same spot, how much bigger and clumsier this is compared to my moccasin. Next to it. So really clever, they're just a bit of leather. That simple moulded to the shape of your foot, but you try shearing without them, it's horrible. Now these sheep are absolutely mental because they're young and fit 
and they have lots of energy. They've never reared a lamb, they're in peak condition. They've been shown once already, so they're going to be lively. I'll hold on as best I can and I'll voice over some information while I shear and hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so I can just imagine what you guys are thinking. Cami, what are you doing to that poor sheep? Well, sheep fans, this is essentially what I meant by dressing these sheep for sale. And dressing essentially means to make them look nice, to prepare them for their big day out in the sale ring. And anyone who watched my previous video, link at the top corner just now, about selling ewe lambs, will have saw my explanation of why we shear the bellies like this. I spend a little time trimming some loose hairs around the legs, not that essential if I'm honest, and then we shear up the neck. And as I explained previous, this works just the same as it does for new lambs. The idea is to make the sheep look taller and longer, which are nice attributes for a breeding sheep to have. I then trim all the hairs on the face to really sharpen up those blacks and whites. This just helps make your sheep look much brighter and sharper when she walks into the sale ring. All of these things are of course cosmetic and make no difference to the actual performance of the sheep. So we have our pen of sheep, not all of these will be going, there's still some that I want to draw out and what I'll do is I'll just go round the pen and I'll just loosely pick out a couple of examples for you of ones that we won't be taking. This one here will probably come out, reason being it almost looks a bit more like a North of England meal. Taller than the rest, I don't know if you can see it at that angle, taller than the rest, a bit narrower so it sticks out in the pen. Obviously all the shorn ones are coming out. This one here at the back, this one will probably come out, this one will come out, it's too small. But what I'm going to do, we'll leave them as is just now, see you tomorrow. This is how we get to tomorrow, very quickly. <gasps> and just like that, it's the next day, it's sale day, so it's maybe two days on. Time travel messes with my head. Anyway. Here are the gimmels that we've drawn out. That was a handful that we showed off that we were not going to sell for various reasons. Just didn't fit this pen. I think we have 24. We're just going to get them into the pens, get one last look at them, make sure everything's sound of its feet before we go to the market. We 
when I say way, that means uh, like a way to me. So that sends Meg to the right. Lie down, lie down, come by, shh, 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 come by, shh, shh, shh. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Come by means left. There you Meg, there you Meg. Come by is left and lie down. You have, with Meg, I usually have to say it three times before she lies down. Now these sheep know that there's a hole in the fence down there, so they're gonna run straight down the hill and Meg's gonna stop them. Way, shh, shh. She'll probably. Oh, I hope she beats them. Oh, Lizzie was there. Lizzie was there, she went left, Meg, but that's okay. So I'm just walking them around the pen here, make sure they're all sound. So the last little thing that we need to do, a little bit of a makeover. These sheep were shown as part of a, a wool board training course. So that was beginner shearers learning to shear sheep. So they left a few ridges, which is natural. It happens, it's very difficult to learn how to shear sheep. They actually made a very good job, apart from the odd little ridge that was left. So I'm just gonna smooth that off. Main reason for doing that, well, it does look bad in a sale ring, but also everyone knows I'm a sheep shearer and I'll get the blame if I don't. You may have noticed that I didn't colour these sheep as some other people do and to be honest I didn't really think they needed it. These sheep have nice skins, they're very even and for the time and effort it would take to colour them I didn't think it was worth it. Hopefully I don't regret that at the sale. All loaded. Let's go to the market. I'm saying no, I can edit this to make it look like we're half ready. <laughs> so the sale that we are at today is actually the same kind of sale as the last video I did from Air Market. So we have a good variety of stock here today. And because I know how much you guys love different breeds of sheep, here's a look at some of the varieties we have today. It's always quite a nerve-wracking thing when you're selling sheep, even the guys at the top. There's a feeling of nervousness as you're walking towards that ring. You just never know. You're at the mercy of the bidders. Are you going to get a good trade? Are you not going to get a good trade? And right now in Scotland and the UK, the sheep trade is flying. So, so even the bottom end, Try, try to do a bit here, some shit, get on. So, <laughs> filming in progress, some shit, get on. <laughs> so I'm trying to do a job here. I'm trying to do a job here. <laughs> so even the top guys, so as I was saying, even the bottom end of sheep just now are making trade that would be at the top end last year. So really, with these breeding sheep today, you shouldn't be able to lose. Famous last words, let's hope it goes well. We have, a, we have a young baby on the way. After watching the first few pens being sold, it was then my turn to go and get my sheep and head to the sale ring. 
Oh, thanks. Hey, you've got to say that for the camera. <laughs> So that is basically the process, as it gets near time for your sheep to be sold, you should really be at your pen. You don't have to be, the market staff will bring them round whether you're there or not. But it's good to help them out if you're with your sheep, they'll give you this slip like I showed you. With the number of sheep on it, what pen they've came from, mine are from the passage, and of course the farm name, we're selling under the sheep game. It's better than putting my address because I don't have a farm, so I just have a, a, a town address. So it looks better if I sell from a from some somewhere that people know, which is the sheep game these days. Good work. Quite grateful I wasn't in the pen right next to the Rankinson boys here. Absolute cracking sheep they have, so it's quite good that I'm going in before them. I'm not sure what the pen in front of me is. They're uh, on the Heptavac. On the Heptavac system. And there's a baby during Monday. And there's a The priorities. I'm nervous, Two hundred and one eighty. Oh, boy. I'll get some in it. Hey, beautiful work, great work, cheers. So, £168 for our gimmers there. How was that, Lizzie? I get him, pleased. Very pleased. It's a good return on the price we paid for them as your lambs. But we then went mental and bought a heap of store lambs. So, with 139 store lambs we bought there, we're going to Zolvix all these store lambs we bought. So, rather than just buying lambs from one, two, three, five different farms and putting them onto our ground that we rent. We're going to Zolvix them, quarantine them. We're not going to dip them. Some of them will be shorter keep than the withdrawal on the dip. I'll take a look at them, try and make sure they've all got clean skin. I think they do, or else obviously I wouldn't have bought them. And all we really need to do here is Zolvix dose them, which will kill out any worms, any potential resistant worms that these lambs could bring onto our pastures and it keeps our ground right because it's just as important to manage your worm flock as it is to manage your sheep flock. Similar to that last vlog, I haven't filmed an ending to this one. We worked away a bit later again and I didn't conclude it. So, here you can see the store lambs that we bought. Prices range from £78 to £88 for these lambs. And what we'll do is we'll compare the price of purchase to the sale price when I finally get them away and see if buying store lambs was a good move or not. That's us for this one though sheep fans, if you made it this far, well done and we'll see you for the next one. Hey, coming in the weekend, yeah, Sunday suits him better. He was playing with you, is this, is this, is the baby yet? No, no. No, no, no yet, but I've got gimmers coming here somewhere.